Harry Styles has kicked off his Aussie tour down under, doing his first ever shoey on stage in Perth. Have a look. This is one of the most disgusting traditions I've ever witnessed. Oh, I can't believe you put the shoe back on. Ew. Today, Melbourne reporter Isabella Stoshkovsky is at Marvel Stadium in Melbourne, where Harry will perform on Friday. In honour of Harry and with his inspiration, maybe I should do my first ever shoey uh, live on the Today Show this morning. So here Ooh. goes something really disgusting. No, <laughs> Isabella, don't do it. 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 Ew, that is so oh. gross. Do it. Well <laughs> done, Isa. Uh, Take it on the Harry. Water as well. Magnificent. Make it something oh, flavoured so you can nullify. On. That's commitment. Oh, that's just do you have to put that back on, Isa? Yeah. She, she did the floods in those shoes too. Yeah. And in other oh, news, yuck. is it causing sick to work tomorrow? <laughs> is a uh, well done. You're a legend. And I'm now joined here by Matt. Matt's one of the youngest passengers here who's waiting for a flight. Matt, how <laughs> annoying has it been? Um, so annoying. <laughs> and how good's your mullet? Um, it's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, well, hopefully the iPad can keep you occupied and help mum as Party well, I think. Back. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, really frustrating scenes here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that fresh mullet. Nothing I mean, like a fresh mullet. There might be delays, but at least he's got great hair, that kid. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Life that. is sorted. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's the Queensland yeah, kid. Yeah. 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 Shake it off. Yeah, here for Shake it, it off. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, Mia. That's an awful wait for them. It's going to be a long day, huh? Thank you so much. Well. Yeah. Uh, so... That's something you don't hear every day. No, mm. I, I'm not filled with you know, great deals of trepidation. I can't smell any smoke. Um, <laughs> it's getting a bit hot. It's a bit hot. What do we yes. do? It is news time, yeah. but yeah. obviously no. We, we, look, we're pretty <laughs> certain it's a drill. for everyone around Australia watching. Yeah. I know that you're personally worried about our safety mm. at this point. I don't want you to be concerned. Don't be worried. Hopefully. <laughs> Run! <laughs> no, Carl, don't do that. <laughs> Goodness. You'll be right, oh, Sarah. You'll be right. This has oh, happened sis. before. Welcome back to Australia. Thank you. How many times has it been now? I think this is my third time. Yeah, but it's been a while. It's been a few years. It has been a while for a lot of people to get down under. That's true. Have you missed us? I have. I mean, <laughs> Australia's a great place. Oh, mm. Yeah, um, there was an alarm that went off. Oh? It was just a drill, but my co-host, Carl, mm. has decided to vacate the building anyway. Anything for an early pass, right? An emergency warning, wasn't it? Where is he? We got to, we've, we've sent our team out to look for him. I mean, he seems to have maybe... Is that, is that you, Carl? Are you barricading yourself under the No, no, well, well, unlike you all, I take workplace health and safety very seriously. <laughs> Wait, we and, can't even tell it's you. When there, is, when there is a warning of that nature in the building, <laughs> given what's happened here in the past, and as the workplace health and safety officer, the most senior member of the Today Show team, I always say keep calm and carry on and then go for the nearest bunker because you don't know what that threat's going to be. <laughs> Sniper. Are you a, a sniper? <laughs> just for the rest of the show, I'm just going to be here in anticipating some kind of foreign attack. When they came to you and said, you're going to be Ant-Man, what did you think? I thought, uh, I thought, great, what's Ant-Man? <laughs> what is this <laughs> What is it? <laughs> um, I knew a little bit about it, but I didn't grow up reading the comics, and I yeah. certainly didn't know about Ant-Man okay. uh, when I kind of learned his superpowers. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I What's your favourite superpower? I mean, the shrinking thing is pretty good. It's kind of invisibility. Mm -hmm. And then to be able to still be super strong. Although, you know, you can't discount talking to ants. <laughs> you really can't. Are they conversationalists? They're so, well, I don't think they really are. I'm guessing mm -hmm. they'd probably be pretty quiet. But, yeah. but, you know, they're the strong, silent type. And that's probably why there's 20 kajillion of them <laughs> on the planet. Yeah, but you're the, you're the special one, aren't you? You're the leader. I'm the Ant-Man. So, uh, Don't yeah, mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, do they know that you were 2021's sexiest man? I've told them. You've told them, dude. Okay, yeah. so they're across it. They don't care. No. No, they're just, all they care about is, you know, the colony. Yeah, fair enough. Fair yeah. <laughs> I guess that's their thing. <laughs> A very talented 13-year-old who is setting the internet on fire at the moment with her very funny Karen impersonations. Please say she joined us now with her dad, 
Paul in Adelaide, in Radelaide, of course. <laughs> Riley, you're 13 going on 54. Uh, when did you discover you had this hidden cat of talent? <laughs> Um, so it was October 2021 and I was just scrolling on TikTok and a video of a Karen came up on my For You page. So I tried to mimic it and I was surprisingly good at it. So I started doing little Karen videos here and there, but never really posting them. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, I'm the star of the show, okay? And I'm only getting, what, under two minutes of screen time? <laughs> Come on, absolutely ridiculous. Excuse me, actually, can I speak to the executive producer, please? Oh, I'm so angry I can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> No. Wow. <laughs> that is so impressive, Riley. The way you were able to just slip into that. Yeah. Don't refer to her as Riley. She's Karen now. Geez, you were, you were off and running early this morning. Um, this is what happened just to break. <laughs> it's not a... Uh... It makes contact with the nostrils, Sarah. <laughs> it's not the idea yeah. of Free Food Friday we're thinking. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had breakfast yet. What can I say? <laughs> Sort of Keeping it Queensland. <laughs> so we had the little lunch every day. Oh. Little lunch. <laughs> I know where uh, also, just quickly, uh, I do know where Mia is at Burley there, just near Rickshaws and uh, great Burley spot, Pavilion. Isn't it? It's mm. a great spot if you're not under the pine trees. Uh, this is what happened to Mia just a, a short time ago. Um, there we are. Oh. <laughs> good luck or bad luck, Mia? <laughs> it's good luck if you're in Queensland. Yeah, the birds had their coffee this morning, guys. <laughs> Pretty good clean-up job. <laughs> <laughs> Straight through, yeah. Now, family's very important to you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> kids aren't watching, are they? <laughs> yeah, no, no, my kids don't. They, yeah, they're, they're sleeping. No. South Australia is sweltering through its worst heat wave in three years. Let's bring in Nine Adelaide presenter Tom Wren now. Tom, it's getting hot today. It is getting really hot at the moment, Brooke. We're up towards 30 degrees already, heading for a top of 41 today. We've already had three days of 35-plus temperatures this week, 41 again tomorrow. So it is getting extremely uncomfortable here in South Australia. Really tough for a lot of people over here, but hopefully we can get through it. Cool change coming tomorrow night. I can tell it's hot where you are because your shirt's all askew. It looks like you've already had your jacket off, maybe even your shirt. What else are you going to do to cool Oi, down? Hey, what's going on here? Oh, oh look out. Oh, well, my God. I am. We are going to do a Today Show. <gasps> the Premier has done Full it here Monty. in South Australia, so I'm going to do the <gasps> same. Shirts off. Oh, it's the full yeah. time today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to do it. It's yes. too hot over here. The best thing about Give doing this, book is I have cleared Go out the square on, here. Baby. No one, no one yeah, is doing anything. You know what? When in Rome, when in South Australia, you've got to go shirtless. The pre Premier's done it. <laughs> Footballers are doing it for their pre-season, so why not me? It's pretty tricky out there, but I wanted to, to get your thoughts, Jackie, uh, particularly um, at the start of um, the working year for you on Prince Harry. Um, he's made headlines yet again for his first romantic encounter <laughs> being unmasked. Um, what do you think about... Um, <laughs> I know you'll be thinking about it in some way, <laughs> shape or form. Um, and also, um, you know, the fact that he, he kind of put her in it um, and now she's put him in it. The whole thing's got a little bit out of hand, hasn't it? Uh, at least somebody's got something in their life where it's getting out of hand in that, that area, mate. I'll be honest with you. So, um, <laughs> look, just, uh, I, can only, I can only pray that I come back as a princess rather than Jackie Lambie and I might get a first base, mate. <laughs> I'll be lucky. It's kind of wild to look back and see stuff from movies that, you know, like milk was a bad choice or things that are kind of quotes from films on t-shirts <laughs> and um, or kind of represented in commercials and things and that they worked their way into the pop culture and, you know, over so many years, it is somewhat gratifying mm -hmm. and a bit surreal to think, wow, I, I was a part of that or I was around that or I remember when that was made. It's, it's cool. It's, it, it feels a little bit like yard work where you're doing it and you don't really realize that you're doing it, but maybe when it's done, you can look back and you see a nice mowed lawn. We all want a good mowed lawn. I'm just, I just, well I'm just mowing my lawn. <laughs> we need a good lawn in life. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's really true. Thank you so much for your time, Paul. Enjoy Thank Sydney. You. It's a pearler out there. Oh my gosh, look at that. What? Wait, when did that show up? Oh my goodness, can I you believe it? That. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... 
What's my name again? Oh my God, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?